One autumn morning, Mike had to take a passenger train to Osborg West. But Mike wasn't keen on pulling passengers, as he preferred goods trains. If you ever find him pulling happy or angry passengers, you will find him in a rather sour mood. And with the presence of a grouchy man, things weren't going to be easy for the little red engine. Make sure to behave yourself, Mike. It is important to keep our passengers happy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's as satisfying as the first three times you told me that, Bert. <laughs> oh, don't say I didn't warn you. But I must say that man don't look too happy. I say, move over. That was my seat. People these days. Oh, please, Bert. I've dealt with people like him before. He won't give me grief. Just watch. All day long, Mike spent his day taking the passengers where the railway took them. Everywhere they went, it was splendid there. Excuse me, you're in my train. <clears throat> no one to talk. Hi! <laughs> Woohoo! Faster! Uh, uh, slow down! You've almost spilled my tea! Uh. I'm going to speed limit. Oh. oh, no. Oh, yeah, I say, why are we storming? Can't you see, sir? There are cows on the line. Oh, move! I've got a schedule to keep. Oh, I say, what other problems do these railways cause for us? Don't hate me, hate the cows. All day long, Mike continued further down the line. His passengers were very impressed. But the passenger on board complained almost as much as he did. He grumbled that they had to stop. Uh, could you be any slower? He complained about the sights. Uh, uh, someone get rid of that tree. It melts my eye. He even complained about Mike, who was trying to follow safety regulations. Oi! Watch it, will you? There's a sharp curve on the way. Uh, excuse us, excuse us. will never be the end. Ooh. Oh, afternoon, Mike. Boy, your face is as red as your paint. <laughs> Oh, don't you start, Rex. You understand what it's like to have someone who always has a negative influence on others. I would like to know how he was raised. Boy, that almost sounds like you. <laughs> I say, this is like every other railway I've traveled on. You're too slow, too fast. You're too old. And you always get us into mishaps. What? Boy, I wish roads were the best transportation. I surely tell you enough! Whoa! What? Hear me loud and clear, you sorry excuse of a passenger. I've been doing everything I can to make sure that our passengers were safe. I follow safety regulations and that you were welcome and comfortable. But instead, unlike everyone else who gave me oohs and ahs, which is pretty nice, by the way, you, on the other hand, give me not one, not two, but six negative complaints of our railway not being very good to you when we've done absolutely nothing wrong. Mike! Oh. I think you've done it now, Mike. <laughs> Whoa! I've never seen an engine explode like that. Me neither, Percy. I... I better get going. I've got shunting to do. <laughs> Bye now.
Mike, how dare you speak to passengers like that? We are supposed to welcome them with full arms. We cannot have an engine with an attitude like that. I shall be... Uh, excuse me, sir. He's not to blame. You can put this on me. Oh, do tell. This engineer did nothing wrong. He was giving us a wonderful tour. I have to say that tree was so wonderful. I guess I'm not used to looking on the bright side. I, I uh, uh, I'm sorry, Mike. The, the, thank you, sir, and I'm sorry too. I didn't mean to shout. Well, at least we have that in common. Yeah, I bet we do. But you still need to get more coaches. They're so overcrowding. Excuse me, I've got as many coaches as I have. Oh, boy. Oh, typical grumbling. You're lucky you didn't spill my tea on my shirt this time. Well, at least I don't have hands or shirt. I can't get tea anywhere on me.